Hi, Craig Ball here. Today we're going to talk about the importance of establishing a feedback culture. Feedback cultures are really important to get going because it encourages an open dialogue, open discussion, but makes it purposeful and allows people to share their thoughts on something. It values their opinions, shows that you as the leader when asking for feedback value their opinions, helps to then, by demonstrating it, to get them to start asking for feedback and being comfortable with that process. It encourages innovation. And what it really does in a roundabout way without directly moving into it is it helps to work on making things better. If you're helping to work on making things better, it's going to make it easy to deal with a challenge or a problem because you're already starting to collaborate with the person. Giving constructive feedback, however, is vitally important. Feedback should never be intended to tear somebody down. It should only be in help to build them up. Feedback can take a couple of different forms in order to achieve this. One of those ways is by offering suggestions for improvement instead of saying, well, you didn't do that wrong or, or you shook your hands too much, if it's for about a presentation. One of the best ways of giving feedback that I've ever used is to help the person self-reflect. And the way that we used to do that when I used to do a lot more feedback sessions for people's public speaking and their presentations, would I'd say, okay, what did you, um, what would you do differently? And what did you like about that presentation? So people know what they've done wrong often. It's often written on their face. So giving that opportunity for them to say, well, I like this, I thought this was good, so you obviously want them to do more of that, but I could have done this differently or better. And sometimes they just won't be aware of the things that they could have done better or differently. And that's where those suggestions can be really valuable. Um, by encouraging a feedback culture, the chance of innovation is so much more because people start to think differently. They start to grow. Um, it also encourages, it builds trust as well because people can start to trust the opinions of others and they get used to it. It helps people to be more vulnerable around one another by accepting that. And as a leader, if you embody these, you're going to get it back in return. So the importance of feedback culture cannot be underscored. It's really vital to, to getting psychological safety on the move, one of the key factors. And by trying it, by giving it a bit of a go, you should be starting to set the same results. But remember, simple, actionable okay it tend to build up just those three things simple action will tend to build people up and help them to improve in a supportive way and you're on the right track thanks heaps i hope that helps